Good day, Sellings fans. I'm Sandy Pondwater, and Sail Wars presents the Almost Any Boat Challenge. The greatest challenge ever. Brought to you by CC Hobby. What can we make for you? Sail Wars brings you dramatic racing from all views that are incredible. Expert sailors sailing their favorite boat. In the winds, the weather brings them. No excuses, just fun competition at the highest level. Racers defending their class's dignity and honor from beautiful Frederick, Maryland. These men and women have taken the challenge. They have picked the boat they think will win. What boat will be the fastest? Who has the edge? Who will be our champion? Let's start off by meeting our world-class competitors. The ones brave enough to take on the challenge. Hi, I'm Alan Krisinger, and I'm sailing the Sea Wind. It's a meter long boat, number 78. Um, I like the Sea Wind because it's a pretty boat and looks more like a sailboat should. I have sailed against Odoms, and I don't like their, their sail plan. I just like the way this boat looks. I expect not to be able to keep up with the East Coast 12s, but other boats I may be competitive with. Hi, um, my name is Albert Chatar. Um, I'll be sailing my DF-65 today, and uh, I'm hoping to to beat a lot of one-meter boats, um, you know, quicker and more agile. Um, and uh, particularly, uh, I want to beat Bart and Mike. <laughs> Able to find it. Hi, I'm Bart, kind of and I sell the intrusion number 777. I'm going to prove that the US one meter is the best boat in the world today because I'm going to beat all these bigger and smaller boats. I'm going to take them all down Rob, Walter, Jarl, all of them. I could name them all. They're all going down today. US one meters number one, baby. I'm Chris, I'm racing 98 EC12. Um, I think I'm just happy to be here. I love this boat, it's pretty on the water. I'm not really looking to win, I'm just looking to be sexy on the water. Hi, I'm uh, Doug McClellan. I'm here today with my uh, IOM. It's uh, Panda by Mirage out of uh, Tasmania. And uh, it's number 48. It's a beautiful boat. It is a great boat. Hey, I'm Jarl, and this is my East Coast 12 meter, number 188. Here to have lots of fun and uh, beat some of the boats and maybe be beaten by some of the boats. But it's all about the fun and sailing these crazy little toy boats. Hi, my name is Carta. I'm selling this uh, Victoria, selling the 108. And uh, it's going to be a fun day. Um, There's some a small boat, but um, I'll make the best of it and see what happens. I'm Kyle, and I am sailing a V36. It's a vintage 36 under the uh, uh, vintage specialty group, uh, one of the many uh, uh, classes there. It's a 36 inch boat with 600 square inches of sail, so it's roughly equivalent to Bart's boat, which is a one meter so. with 600 inches of well, uh, sail, but it's a 10 pound boat versus his being six pounds. So um, he would probably be my closest competition, although I'll be trying to beat any one of the other one meter boats if I possibly can. Hi, hi everybody. Okay, well, this is my boat. Uh, what is it? 181. Um, it's actually a registered legal IOM, International One Meter. And 
my buddy at Vienna Vintage Boats, uh, Mark Smith, he built it for me. I don't get to use it, but I really, ooh, look at, look at how it goes. But I really like it because it's got the UVA colors and my daughter went to UVA. So, um, anyway, so Walter and Bart are the ones I want to beat today. Um, and so I'm going to do that. And that, that's my goal. And I'm really happy to say on my, my IOM, I don't get an opportunity. So the one, the one, let's get a picture of it. So the, the any boat up the EC12 was uh, a great idea. So that's why I'm so excited for today. Thumbs up. Well, good morning. Uh, my name is Mike. And uh, I come from South Central Pennsylvania. And this is a U.S. vintage model, not group. North Carolina Sharpie Schooner. Uh, it's uh, what they call a scratch bill. Give it back to me after the end of the day. You uh, buy stuff at the uh, wood store and try to piece it together. Um, it took me about two years to do it. I had to learn how to do a lot of new things. I had never made a set of sails before and I had never poured a keel bub well before, so I had to learn how to uh, make a mold out of plaster of Paris, have to hand carve. Whatever. Uh, boat weighs about 18 pounds, eight of which is the heel, and she's about uh, bowsprit to stern is about five feet long. I really look forward to putting it in the water. Light wind conditions today, which may or may not favor me. Um, but I'm looking forward to trying to avoid the little boats. I want to spear them with my bowsprit. <laughs> Okay, my name is Paul Bussman and this is my Bart Killer. Uh, it's a T27 that I built from a kit many, many years ago. I've got number 814 on it. Uh, it didn't really have a number before, but I gave it a number. Um, this is, uh, I upgraded the radio in it a while back because I wasn't able to sail it for ages because it was just, there was no range, so I updated it. And I found to my surprise and my pleasant surprise that it actually sails very nicely. So. I'm curious to see how it does against these other, the big boys today. Um, we'll see. But I'm here to have a good time and that's the bottom line. Thank you. Hi, my name's Rob Dutton. I'm sailing a vintage Marblehead class boat, number 67. Uh, it's a heavy boat. It may not do well in the light wind, but I'm having fun. And I got a GoPro camera on it and see what kind of videos show up. Hi, my name is Sungi, and I'm sailing the Focus 2. We get from Herndon, Virginia, all the way up here in Lake Whittier. We'll see how we're going to do today. We're looking forward. My name is Walter House. I'm sailing Star 45 02. I'm from Martinsburg, West Virginia. Um, looking to have fun today. Looks like we got a breeze and a, and a square course for a good time. It gets, it gets uh, faster. The more time you put it up. Dragon and Force 65. Very fast. And just kind of go, I go okay, there, 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 there. there. Finish last and every looks, and this is, look. Let's see how Vegas sees the settlers' odds of winning after race one. Well, they have Walter moving back to four to one, Rob moving back to eight to one, Mari or Jarl moving up two to one. On the other notable odds, they've moved Bart up from 11 to 1 to 3 to 1 and Allen up from 12 to 1 to 10 to 1 for race number 2. So we see some movement with the odds makers and the money's flying to and from. This is the racing format. The competition will consist of three short, three medium, three long, and a drag race. Experts have set the course to make it as fair as possible for every size boat. From Frederick, Maryland, let's go racing! And here are the entrants for race number two. Now remember, Jarl won the last race and Bart took second. The two IOMs did well too, Mari and Doug. And of course, you can never count Walter out. And let's take a look at our current top 10. 
First place, Jarl with his EC12. Second place is Bart with his US 1 meter. Third place is Doug with his IOM. Fourth place is Mari with her IOM. Fifth place is Walter with his Star 45. Sixth place is Chris with his EC12. Seventh place is Alan with his Sea Win. Eighth place is Mike with his Sharpie Schooner. Ninth place is Kyle with his V36. And tenth place is Rob with his Marble Head. So, we'll have to see how they sort it all out after this race, race two, which is a short race. 10, oh, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, right. 2, 1. We have a clean start. Charles and Walter get a great start and shoot out front. Number 7, 7, seven Bart is in third and number 2, Sangeet is in fourth. Number 78, Allen is in fifth and number 81, Mari is in sixth place. Number 67, Rob is in seventh and number 83, Kyle is in eighth. Number 98, Chris is in ninth and number 108, Carta is in tenth place. Number 814, Paul and his Bart Killer are in 11th place. Now we're on board number 67, Rob's Marblehead, as he makes his way up through the fleet. Number 188, Jarl is in first, and number 1102, Walter is in second. Number 2, St. Geet is in third, and Rob is in fourth place. As they make their turn around the first mark. Now remember, this is the short course. And we can see favorite number 48, Doug, is way out there. And number 630, Winston, has dropped back to 13th place. Number 463, Albert, is in 14th and Mike is in 15th place. They are racing one lap on the second of these short courses. Remember, they're racing three short courses. There's one mark at each end of this course. Mike's finally getting that Sharpie moving. It's a big boat. I'm really surprised that the big schooner isn't catching more wind than it is. Here come our leaders. Mike has to go in between them. Jarl is still in first, and Walter's in second place. The schooner finally started to move and threaded the needle. Walter loses the wind, and Jarl takes off and leaves them. Back on board Rob's boat. We can see him chasing those leaders. Rob is in third place. He's starting to fall back, though. Look out for that schooner. Look at that lead Jarl has on second place, Walter. And here comes number 777, Bart, with his US 1 meter. He's right on the tail. Number 78, Allen, has taken over fourth place. And we can see Rob, he's dropping back more. He's losing the win. You can see his cells going back and forth, side to side. He's hunting for the win. Number 188, Jarl is almost to the finish line. That's how fast he's been going. He's just flying through this course. Remember, the finish line is at a diagonal angle. You can see the far mark out there as he edges closer. And there goes the fireworks as number 188, Jarl wins race two. Jarl wins the second short race with his EC12. This is the second race he has won, two of two. Off screen, Bart has passed Walter for second place. Bart is now just feet from the finish line off to the right. And number 777, Bart takes second place in his US 1 meter. Number 1120, Walter takes third in his star 45. So there was an upset there. We would have thought that star 45 was going to excel. Here comes number 78, Allen, towards the finish line. Right there, he's just coming on camera. 
And number 81, Mari, is coming up fast, but she will not be able to catch Allen as number 78, Allen, surprises as he takes fourth place in his C-win. That's a great finish for that C-win. So we know Mari was coming up fast, and there she comes on screen as 81. number 81, Mari, takes fifth place in the IOM. So the C-win beat the IOM that time. In fact, two IOMs. Surprising. And number 98. 98, Chris, takes sixth place in his EC12. Yeah, 83. And number 83, Kyle, takes seventh place in his V36. 48. And number 48, Doug, takes eighth place in his IOM. That's got to be disappointing for Doug, as he should be one of the front runners. But he made a few mistakes in this race. And here comes Rob with his big marble head. Remember our onboard camera. Here comes Rob. He finished 10th in short race number one. A ninth place finish will be an improvement over that 10th place. Here he comes to the line. And number 67, Rob, takes ninth place in his marble head. That's a big boat there. Look at that sail area. The back of the fleet is just at the halfway point. That's how fast these front runners were. And it is not an easy field to finish in the top end. There are some expert sailors out here, many regional and national champions on this course right now, defending the honor of their class. And number two, Sangeet, heads to the finish line. See him in the red and black boat out there. He's coming to the line. And number two, Sangi takes 10th place in his Focus 2. That's just a stock Focus 2 that he's racing. And we've seen some people down in Florida, like Fred, having a good day with a Focus 2 against US 1 meter. So Sangi comes across as number 630, Winston takes 11th in his DF 65. And number 108, Carta takes 12th place in his Victoria. So we kind of have seen a mix up in the big and small boats in this race as the small boats beat some of the bigger boats. 463. And number 463, Albert takes 13th place in his DF65. And number 88, Mike takes 14th place in that big Sharpie schooner. And number 814, Paul takes 15th place with his T27. Congratulations to our top three. First place, number 188, Jarl in his EC12. Second place, number 777, Bart in his US 1 meter. And third place, number 1102, Walter in his Star 45. Don't forget, we have eight more races in this series coming up. Sail Wars is made up all of volunteers. Please subscribe and hit like. We thank you for liking and subscribing. Attention all club webmasters, Sailors needs your support and help. We need for you to get the word out to your club members and put a link to our YouTube homepage on your club's website. Here is our YouTube homepage. This is what it looks like. We have playlists. Just click on that word playlist. Or you can click on a link that goes to all the videos, well over 200 videos now. And of course, so you never miss a video, please hit that subscribe button. And of course, check out the Best of Sail Wars. We have well over 200 videos for your enjoyment. Thank you for watching Sail Wars. Join a great club near you like the Northern Maryland Model Yacht Club. And we love the AMYA. And we would especially like to thank our camera person, Connie, and our scorer, Andy. We really appreciate you. And this is Sandy Pondwater signing off. I'll see you at the next race.